Hello again. So let's go ahead and get started with uh, another micro lecture. Remember, these are intended to be short, one to three or four minutes, depending on what it's on. This one's on describing acceleration, and we're going to focus on describing acceleration conceptually, meaning the idea of it, um, rather than technically, so focusing on then the equation and things along those lines. As always, you need three bullet points or more worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and you need to do the follow-up questions on the Google form. All right, remember the objectives are listed up here in the top left-hand corner, just for reference. So last unit or previous unit, we talked about uh, velocity. And we talked about velocity being how fast you're moving and in general also including direction on that. So if velocity is how fast you're moving, then acceleration is going to be how fast your velocity is changing. So kind of how fast your movement is changing in that sense. Now, acceleration is a time rate, so what that means is that it's how fast your velocity changes, not versus distance, but versus time or with time. So what that means is if we're looking at this drag racer here, then we're looking at how fast its velocity is changing uh, after one second and within two seconds and within three seconds, as opposed to looking at how fast its velocity is changing versus uh, where it is, so like at this position versus at this position. Although distance and position are going to be related, it's not uh, within the definition of acceleration. So I also want you to remember that uh, velocity is a vector, which means we talked about this previously. If it's a vector, then you can change it by changing either its magnitude, its direction, or both. So we can change either the kind of number or kind of speed in that sense, or we can actually just change the direction, north or south or east or west, or like one degree off of north and things along those lines. And since acceleration is actually based on changes in velocity, that means if we want to change, or if we're accelerating, then that happens when the velocity changes either in magnitude, in direction, or in both. So you can accelerate something by speeding it up, you can accelerate it by slowing it down, you can also accelerate it by changing its direction even if the speed is staying the same. That's it for this micro lecture, three bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and you need to do the follow-up questions on Google Form.